subscribe. Bye, welcome, Amal. Welcome, everybody, to Atava's first um, product discussion here on Telegram. So joining me today is Lucia from Unique in His Image. And Hi, we just everybody. have the desire to um, yeah, discuss some of Atava's products and to do it over a cup of coffee, like two friends. Um, I'm just going to share a bit about my journey with oils and Lucia is going to ask some questions. And you are more than welcome. I don't know if you are able to ask questions on the um, video streaming. But um, yes, I hope you enjoy this little short introduction to Wales. <laughs> Hi, Lucia. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Thanks so much. And thank you for, for also um, your willingness to share your knowledge that you have built up over the years with oils with us. I know there's been a big trend about essential oils and the uses of them and um, the yielding principles of them. So please tell us a bit more about your journey with oils and where it all started. It's actually um, amazing if I look back at my life. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, like you say, the whole hype around um, essential oils only started in the last couple of years. But since I was in high school, I, for example, I used tea tree oil. Wow. And I really, yeah. it was my go-to for everything. I used it to, to steam my face with. It just makes your face very soft and smooth. And basically, you know, that's using essential oils. And, and even mm -hmm. if you used um, like mosquito repellent, they use the, the oils in there to, to repel the mosquitoes. So it's not really a new concept. I think we were all afraid to really delve into the world of essential mm -hmm. oils before because it was such a taboo thing, you know, with um, aromatherapy and that it's new age. Um, but I think there was really, I remember a word prophetic words somebody gave a couple of years ago and it was as if Abba released the teaching and the knowledge of oils all over again and wow. it just went up and you can always then see that um, releasing you even see it in the world so you mm -hmm. release knowledge to the body but you also release it in the world and you could see companies like Terra and Young Living growing and, and people starting to use alternative methods and oils again um, so I'm super excited. I think my journey really started with oils um, when ancient biblical oils started a couple of years ago. I think it's about four, three years ago when they started. So I joined one of their meetings and it was just so interesting to me. Yeah, yeah. I, I think the rest there's so much. Really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's so much you can learn from, from oils. And like you <clears throat> said previously, we can go on and on and actually do a hundred fold series on essential oils but for today exactly. can you just um in short explain to us the types of oils that you get okay so when uh, when i had my first meeting with oils with ancient biblical oils and even with Lisha, i bought so many oils <laughs> yeah i i just i overspent because i was just so excited and and not that mm -hmm. there's not a place for all, all of these oils, but there are a few basics that you can really do anything with. So I just want to share some of my favorites with you today. But before we do that, um, like you've said, the different types of oils. So to just explain again, when you see on our website there that you get a pure oil. So a yeah. pure oil goes through a specific distilling process. Um, it's basically an alcohol-based, um, and it goes through your skin barrier and it goes into your bloodstream. Okay. So most of our pure oils comes in small little bottles, in five or ten mils, um, because it's very strong and you only really need a drop of it. So a pure oil, um, if I put a pure oil underneath the foot of the sole of my foot, in twenty seconds that oil, that molecules is in my brain, and it's just amazing. That's why it's such an amazing tool, because mm. you can really treat sorry, your whole body on cell level, you know, with an oil. Um, so if you go onto our website, you will see single pure oils. What I mean by single, it's a pure oil of just peppermint, eucalyptus, or a clove oil. So you get pure oils, it's just one type of oil in the bottle. But then we get pure blends. So it's just pure essential oil, but it's a blend of different pure oils. 
So for example, is um, Lisha is like a COVID steam oil. So it's a mixture of different oils, but it's still a pure oil. So if you use okay. a diffuser at home, which is very nice to use if you sleep at night, then you can only put a, a pure oil in the diffuser. You cannot add a oil that has a carrier um, with it because it will clog up your um, diffuser. <laughs> so yeah. that's basically your, your essential oil, and it even goes into your brain. It crosses the, the brain barrier. Um, yeah, it's very healthy for you in so many ways. So what they do... Oh, the two it? biggest brands in... Um, that we, the oil that we sell is ancient biblical oils and, and Adasa, but we also do have some other very high quality oil. But most of you know that um, ancient biblical oils, they have a pure oil and they have blends. So I just wanted to explain the difference. Um, so ancient biblical oils, you know, these are their blends. So it's basically a carrier oil. So the term carrier is when this, you can use different oils as a carrier it basically dilutes the oil so it doesn't burn your skin or it's not too strong. Okay. So you mix an essential oil with a carrier. And ancient biblical oils blends are a very um, low percentage. It's like a 3% blend. So it's very safe to use. Um, in the next session, we will have a, a special session just for moms and the oils and the products that I use on my children that are safe. But this okay. frankincense oil, this blend, I can, you can use it on a newborn. I used it on my, my baby. It is super, super safe to use. So then Lisha also have blends, which is an essential oil mixed with a carrier, but it's a bit stronger. Um, and then you get the balms. So ancient biblical oil do balms. It's these ones. They've got high sera, and then they've got the mirror one and they've got the frankincense one. So the high set is a mixture of frankincense and mirror. So the thing about the balm is um, it's a different process that's used to distill the oil. Um, so this oil does not go into your bloodstream. So okay. it works where you apply it. So it's very good for wound healing. It's very good for your face to use, you know, for, um, you know, for wrinkles and stuff like that. Um, so that it's safe to use um, yeah, and children as well. Um, and then you get other oils, like we will speak a bit about this one later. So it's not an essential oil, it's black mustard seed. And it's not really okay. a carrier oil, it's just a, a pure oil of a plant, like you'll get avocado oil or olive oil. But mm -hmm. it has so many benefits of its own, and it's good for you, and you use it just on its own. I mean, you don't have to add an essential oil. Yeah, so that's basically all the different types of oils that you get. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that with us, Steve. Um, it's so interesting, and I think it's so important to know as well um, the difference between a carrier oil and a pure oil, and because it's so dangerous if you use a pure oil directly on your skin, if you aren't, or if you can't, um, that you just really sharpen up your knowledge on which oils to use where and how, which oils can you consume inside your body with yeah. this topical so thank you for sharing that with us um and then yes what types of oils do you use in your home what is your if you have to choose your top <laughs> staple oils that you need to have in your cupboard which ones are those okay. i think that well that i use the most and um, that i have plenty of bottles of i've got one in each room is the the ancient biblical oils the frankincense and a okay. lot of people have this um, idea that because it's not as strong, because it's only 3%, it will not work as well. And I have found that the, um, the, because it's not so strong, it works better. So what, happens, what can happen is if you apply an oil and it's too strong, it goes mm -hmm. into your body and your receptors are overwhelmed. And then okay. they shut down and then they don't absorb the oil. So it's almost as if you're not using it. But if it's a very low dilution, like the 3%, um, it just mm. works better. So um, what I use frankincense for, it's great for kids. Um, you can pour this on an open wound. It will kill any and all bacteria. So this is our go-to for, yeah, if, if there's a cut or a wound, I just pour it on the open wound. 
And what's great is it doesn't really sting that that much. So it's great for kids to just clean a wound. Mm -hmm. I mean, you then don't have to use anything other like um, Dettol or anything. You can just put oil on. It's really an amazing thing. I've, I've, clean, I've cleansed um, dog bites with this. And I mean, there's really not much that's more dirty than a dog's teeth. <laughs> yeah. And, sure. and the, the wound just healed. It didn't even, yeah. yeah. So it's also great about this. Um, because it's such a low percentage, you can even um, put it in a child's ear. So I use it for ear infection, ear pain. Um, if Ephraim gets sick, one of his first symptoms always is his ears. They block and he will tell me, mommy, my ear hurts. And usually two times I put, put this oil in twice and then, yeah, it's gone. <laughs> it doesn't hurt anymore. Um, I've used this during my whole pregnancy with Olivia on me. Okay. I've, I've, I've put it on my womb, on my back. Um, and I really do believe it's it's so healthy for the baby as well. They say it even can increase their IQ. Um, I used it on her when she was wow. born on a navel. It's it's really it's one of the safest oils. Um, it's anti-inflammatory. It's um, good for pain. It's antiviral, antifungal. So really, you can use it for anything. A My great favorite. oil to have <laughs> in your home, especially if you live on a farm. And yeah, you have one in the, the nappy bag, one in the car, one in the <laughs> kitchen. Oh, I have to, I have to mention this. Mm. This is a very mm. important oil to have in your kitchen. It's the best oil to use if somebody burns. Okay. It takes the pain okay. away immediately. It, it causes you don't blister. Yeah, I sound like a terrible mother, but Olivia has burned three times this year. She was very young. When she, when she burned the first time, she pulled a, a whole mug of hot boiling water over her face. And her sure. whole face was immediately red and swollen. Mm. And I had such a fright. And I just took this oil and I just kept putting that over a couple of times. And I followed it up with a, um, it's a product we'll talk later about. It's an aloe gel with lavender oil in it. In the end, she didn't have one blister. <laughs> It, wow. You could see that she burned. It was like a, a, a skin looked funny for a couple of days, but she healed completely. Mm -hmm. I was so happy for that. So it's a very good oil to use for burns. Okay. Um, second oil, also a blend of ancient biblical oil. It's hyssop. What I okay. use this for is when I do counseling um, mm -hmm. for people or when I want to anoint my house. I like to use this Ooh. oil just because of the prophetic meaning of hyssop. And because they yeah. used heat up, you know, to apply the blood of the lamb. So it's a nice oil, but you can use any oil to anoint. It's just, I like the prophetic use of it. And yeah. as you know, all of these oils have a medical benefit, but it also has a spiritual, a, a prophetic meaning, eh? Mm. Then cinnamon. Um, so cinnamon mm. is, yeah, one of the, um, it's such an amazing oil. I love the taste of cinnamon. So Ancient biblical oils and the dasa, both of their oils are food grade, so you can ingest it. So cinnamon is one of the hot oils. So you get a couple of oils that are hot. In other okay. words, what that means, if you would put a pure oil on your skin, it will really burn you. You will like it will burn your skin off. <laughs> so just keep the hot oils away from the children, especially the pure ones. For example, okay. cinnamon, clove oil, um, cassia oil, um, I think even ginger, it's all the spicy, mm -hmm. spicy oils. Okay. Um, so cinnamon is the oil that is the most antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal. It increases um, metabolism because it, it's hot. So if you're on your skin, it runs hot there and it will send new blood flow to the air. For example, this one is very good to use as a massage oil if you want, you know, blood flow to an area. Sorry, Steve, can you just quickly repeat that, um, what you said about cinnamon, you just, um, the signal just went away for a bit. Okay. What lasted you year? So you said that cinnamon is a hot oil, but it is also, you must avoid skin contact. And then you also said, then you, you, you went away. <laughs> So what is nice to use this for, it brings blood to the surface. So if you put it, this blend, if you put that on your skin 
and you rub it, it will become hot and nice and warm and it will bring a lot of blood flow to the area. So it's very, it's a very good massage oil. Um, but strange enough, I don't know if it's a different type. I didn't look. Um, there's nothing wrong with this. It works very, very well. And you can even put it in your mouth on little sores. But the one, Licious Cinnamon Oil, this one. So it's a bit stronger. It um, tastes very well. If you taste this, it's super, super sweet. So what we do, is, uh, and I do it with the children as well, when we brush our teeth, I will put yeah. some of the oil on the toothpaste and we will brush our teeth because it's just, it tastes nice. It's good for your mouth. It's good for um, your bacteria. It's if you do something like oil pulling, if you're into oil pulling and you use sesame oil or coconut oil to do oil pulling, you can add cinnamon oil to that. Again, because it tastes nice and it's so good for your mouth. Um, another thing that I do just quickly <laughs> with the cinnamon oil, but first test it on a small part of your skin because I've got a very strong skin. But okay. sometimes I'll, after I've scrubbed my skin, I'll put this on. And my face will become red. Um, yeah. But I will leave it on. But it just brings, you know, some blood and blood flow and circulation to your face. So I use it as a face treatment every okay. now and then. A lot of valuable then, tips that you are giving us here. <laughs> so it's, a, it's like speed dating. Today is really just to, to make you want more. We will talk in more detail about all of these products. Um, this is the balm that I've spoken about of, of, of mm -hmm. ancient biblical oil. So I always have this as well. It's a nice okay. thing to have in your emergency kit. So not for children, but for adults. You can use mm -hmm. this in your eyes. But be aware it stings, it works. It really burns. So if you have pink eye or you have an eye infection and you're in emergency, you can put this in your eye. I've healed my dog's eye twice where he had an um, ulcer in his eye. The first time I had to take it to a specialist and it cost us thousands of rands. The next time it happened, I just put this in and I could see it was burning, but it healed it so fast. It's really an amazing oil. It's great for anti-aging to put on your on your skin it's great for wounds we will we will talk about honey one day but if you mix this with honey and you put it on an open wound and you put a plaster over i will never ever again well i can never say never but i won't even if i had a, an operation or a wound i would rather use honey and oil to heal the wound than the other types of salves that you get it's just so amazing i've just seen so many healing yeah with that okay next <laughs> <laughs> this is um, botanic tea tree oil. So like I've said, I think this is the oil I've used the longest. It is amazing. So tea tree oil, um, you don't use, you, you cannot really ingest it, so you don't drink it. But if you mm -hmm. have like a little sore in your, in your mouth or on your gums and you put a little pure tea tree oil on it, undiluted, it doesn't taste very nice, but it takes it away like that. Amazing for fever blisters. Um, I've had shingles and if you have like active shingles or, um, you know what shingles is like when you get it yes. on your body, but I had it in my face. So if you have sure. active shingles and these little sores and you put it on that, it burns so badly, but it works the best. It dries it out. Mm -hmm. Um, it's very good for pimples, put a little bit on the pimple because it dries it out. Um, but my favorite to use it for is, um, I make a steam bath with um, rooibos tea, lemons, and some tea tree oil. And then I oh, put wow. a towel over and I steam my face. Not It mustn't be too hot because you don't want to burn your, your mm -hmm. skin. You steam your face, and then afterwards you can wash your face with that water. It makes okay. your skin super, super soft. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's lemon tea tree and the third thing, lemon tea tree. Uh, and... Rooibos tea. Yes. Okay. And also great for disinfection if you don't have anything to put on. So if you go look at the, the, the burn shields that you buy in the pharmacy, if somebody's mm. burned, all of it has tea tree oil in because mm. it's just it's so antiseptic. Yeah, it's also an amazing mm. oil. It's the, an all round. So that's a favorite. Oh, and this specific brand that we sell, it's proudly South African. It's grown, it's organic, it's, it's farmed in KwaZulu Natal. Yeah. Awesome. So we've got five wells left. <laughs> um, 
I've only have two pure oils here today. The one is a blend, like I've said. Mm -hmm. So it's pure. Oil. It's the COVID steam from okay. Nisha, um, because it's just still a go-to if we've got really bad flu or congestion mm -hmm. or a lung thing. Is to just make a steam bath of this and inhale. That's that's. It's just so good for your lungs. She also has mm -hmm. a sinus steam. Um, I really do believe in a steam bath. So mm -hmm. the COVID steam is quite expensive. So if you don't have that, an alternative, what I use, um, specific, specifically for my children, because they are sometimes they don't want to do the steam bath and I don't want to waste the COVID steam because it is expensive, then I just buy the eucalyptus and peppermint separately and I steam them with that. Okay. okay. So. Yeah, I testify with you on the COVID steam, I've used it a couple of times when I have congestion in my chest and it really does, it does do a, a world of difference to your chest. <laughs> yes, it's so good for you. Um, and then the second pure oil is the peppermint oil I want to speak mm -hmm. about, another amazing oil. So peppermint oil, um, we like to keep one in our car because mm -hmm. it will be awake. If you oh, are really? driving and you, feel, yeah, and you feel very tired, you just put a drop of it on your tongue. It tastes nice. It tastes like peppermint. And it will okay. keep you awake and focused for the next three hours. Shame. Sure. Um, I, I know we have a friend who tried this. Their daughter were naughty and, and he wanted to put oil on her that tasted bad, you know, in her mouth. And he used peppermint and not realizing it will keep her awake for the next six hours. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite funny. But, um, yeah, so it will keep you awake. It will help you focus if you need to study. You can also use it. Mm. It really helps you focus. It opens airways. It's very, very, very good for your lungs. It's very good for your lungs. So if you don't have the chest blend of Leisha and somebody's sick and you take a carrier oil and you mix eucalyptus in and peppermint and lavender and you put that and frankincense, you put that mm. on the chest, it's very good for you. It opens airways. It's also, most of the oils are high in the things that are antiseptic. So it, mm -hmm. most of the oils will kill bacteria and, and viruses and stuff. So it's also a go-to, if you don't have anything else, you can put it on. Um, I mean, Dishan mm -hmm. told me, welcome to share what you just shared with me earlier. Um, yeah, so it's actually so funny. We, we, um, I bought a few oils for my husband while he was studying last year for a test. So he associates essential oils with, I have to go study now. <laughs> but we mm -hmm. had a little bit of peppermint left. And the lady that works here, she said that um, her mouth is so sore, her uh, um, gums is infected. And I had nothing. I felt so bad. I, no I had nothing to give to her. And I said, I'm going to make you a little bit of water with three or four drops of peppermint oil in it. Just rinse your mouth out mm -hmm. with it a couple of times during the day. And she's been struggling with this um, gums of hers for three weeks. And last night she sent me a message. She said, Lucia, I feel so good. Wow, my mouth hasn't felt so good in a long while. So it was just amazing uh, to see the healing effects that it has. Yeah, definitely. I think, and it tastes nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the peppermint. <laughs> so the last two worlds that I want to talk about is... Um, we have this new brand of oil. It's called Martenberg Oils. Um, okay. So this is also eucalyptus. I said earlier about the, the eucalyptus. I did mention it. That the, the type that you get in South Africa. You mentioned what, what it. Was before. Yes. I was, uh, was Please share like with us. <laughs> so eucalyptus, the specific one that's very good for you, is not that eucalyptus. It's not the main eucalyptus that's grown in South Africa. So it's okay. a eucalyptus that Lisha and ancient biblical oils use. And I think most of that oil is imported um, because it doesn't grow that well. You do get some, but not much. So the okay. eucalyptus that we grow, it's not that it's bad for you. It's just not as good, but it's also still very good. And mm -hmm. for me, it's a very good, cheap alternative, especially okay. if you've got someone working for you and you want to help them. Um, I've heard so many testimonies of people of, of, of people in the lower class, income class who survived COVID by just using eucalyptus oil or wow. just even teaming with the eucalyptus leaves because it mm. is very powerful. So what's amazing about Martin's oils, um, he uses two species. 
So basically, mm -hmm. the essential oil is like the weapon of the plant. It is the weapon that you distill. So now if you use two, two species, you're getting the best of two plants. They've got a different fighting mechanism that they protect themselves with. So if you mix two species, it makes it even better. So it's a mixture of two species of eucalyptus, and it comes in this big bottle. So this is the other PO wells. Sure. <laughs> and it's cheap. It's not expensive. And that's what's so nice. I'll buy a big um, bottle like this. And if my children are sick, I will let them shower twice a day. I close the bathroom door and let the bath, the whole bathroom just steam up. And I'll just go wild with this oil and put it on the floor. <laughs> and it just opens everything. And this, the... Yeah, all the bad things will just drip out of their noses. It just really works well. But then I don't feel bad to use this um, because yeah. it, it's not that expensive. And something else I didn't know is that eucalyptus is actually a metal polisher. So I've got mm -hmm. another bottle of this that's standing next to my dishwasher. So mm -hmm. when I wash the dishes, I'll put in the dishwashing tablet and then I'll put some oil in, like 10 drops oh, or something wow. like that. Okay. And glasses shine more. Um, your my pots, I've got copper pots, they are more shinier and it just smells nice when you open up. So I use it in the dishwasher. And another thing I also didn't know was that um, that eucalyptus is a very good um, good for pain relief. It's anti-inflammatory and I didn't realize that. So Martin Bad has another oil. It comes in a small and a big bottle. I think, unfortunately, our big bottles are out of stock, but we are ordering new ones. Um, but it's a black castor oil. That's what he uses, the carrier, and then it's mixed with the eucalyptus. So okay. it's specifically for pain and inflammation, and it works the best for me. I've got um, some some nerve damage from having um, shingles, and it mm -hmm. just that's all that helps for me. And if, if I have joint pain, I put this on. He sells a lot of it to the um, old age home. They mm -hmm. use it for all the joints. And the reason it works so well, castor oil is very um, well known for its anti-inflammatory properties. Even though it's a carrier oil, it penetrates the skin much deeper than an olive oil, for example. So it works really well. Um, mm. And it's, it's, it's also a very healthy Pastor oil, he distills it himself and it's hexane free. So it's also very moisturizing. Okay. So for eczema and stuff like that. So that's and it's Martin convenient oil. that it's a spray bottle as well. So you can just spray yes. it on. <laughs> spray it on your fingers and you, you put it on. Um, I don't have a sample here, but what I just quickly, I, I don't have, there's one well I want to talk about that I don't have here. So ancient biblical oils, the blends they have, they have a sandalwood blend, okay? okay. Just quickly want to share about that oil. Um, they've got the regular blend. Then they've got the blends with the drip that has the drippers in. So mm -hmm. that's their CBD range, okay? Um, so the CBD comes from the Daha plant, but it doesn't have THC, and so it's not going to mm -hmm. make you feel funny or high. And I, I know different people have different feelings about that. But it's mm -hmm. basically just that medicinal quality that's extracted and put into the oil. So that enhances the property of the essential oil. Um, and specifically the sandalwood, it works so well together. And the testimony I just want to share is that um, the lady that works for me at home, her child is already like 20 or 21. Mm -hmm. And he has... Um, What's the word? Not autism. Um, it's it's basically, yeah. But yeah, it's not normal, but he gets a lot of, um, what do you call it? Epilepsy. Sorry. Okay. I've been struggling. So he's been getting epilepsy forever and he gets it very bad. So there would be weeks where he gets epilepsy so bad that she will be off for a whole week because she needs sure. to take care of him. And the older he got, the more difficult it got because he's actually now a grown man. Yo. And she doesn't have a husband. She's a single mother. Her brother looks after her children. And if he gets a fit, the a brother doesn't know what to do. He usually just, yeah, he leaves. <laughs> and she was just really struggling. And I wanted to help her. And I spoke to, to Sarah of Ancient Biblical Wills. And she gave us a protocol. 
and in the beginning, it was only like resins and frankincense, and even that helped his behavior a little bit. Mm -hmm. Until one day, she said, I must also try start using the sandalwood oil. So mm -hmm. I, I first bought the regular blend, and she said it helped a lot. And then finally, I gave her the um, the one with the CBD, uh, yeah, with the CBD. And in a whole year, I think he had only two um, epilepsies. Fits. Sure. And the amazing, I think the one time that I know of, he was very sick. He was dehydrated. So I think it was just too much on his body. But I asked her, how quick does it work? Because she puts it on him every day. But if he gets mm. a fit, is if she puts it, she puts it on his, um, you know, on his sleep and then she lets him smell, smell it. And if she put it on, it's two minutes and the epilepsy will stop. Um, yeah. yeah and, and the other day he had a very bad epilepsy fit. And I asked her, what's wrong? You know, why will he get it now all of a sudden? And she told me, no, ma'am, the oil is finished. And I was like, you really? should have told me beforehand. I'll order more for you. Mm. But something so simple, like one bottle of oil, it mm. lasted a year. It changed her life. Yeah, um, that's and that's what's so sad for me. That these things are available to people. Mm. Um, and the last thing about the sandalwood is it's very good for your emotions. It's mm -hmm. very good for your brain. So that's why it's good for epilepsy. And I've helped like uh, three different um, women whose children went through a very, very difficult emotional period. They were crying the whole time. And when they started using this well, in a week, it was different children. It's very good for your emotions. Sure. So if you struggle with depression, um, it even helps you to sleep. So I like, I've got a bottle next to my bed. Um, I'm mm -hmm. not good at doing everything every day, <laughs> but when I remember, I'll take it and I'll put it on and I'll put it on my children before we go to bed. Um, it's just so good for your brain. So it increases the oxygen levels in your brain. Yeah, like crazy. Makes you very smart. <laughs> um, okay, and then the last word I want to talk about today is this one. Mm -hmm. We have the owner come on one day and we can speak to her and she can share her testimony it's called blessed seed oil but it's a mustard mm -hmm. seed oil so again it's a plant the oil is made of black black mustard seeds um it's very potent so she mm -hmm. she used to live in london and she was very um she had postnatal depression and she read yeah. up about it. she read that this really helps so she started drinking it and she started to feel better but apart from that, she just started all of her health, just getting, uh, her hair started growing, her hair was healthy, her skin looked good. She didn't get sick anymore. It just improved her health overall so much. So she started doing research and she got so passionate about this oil. Mm -hmm. She started to import it from Africa and to sell it. And now she's back in South Africa and she sells this oil through Atava and it's really an amazing oil. But I currently use it for, it doesn't taste that nice. It tastes like very strong cut grass, you know, like olive oil, <laughs> that cut grass taste, but just yeah. more intense. But when you have a sore throat, if you feel you've got something coming and your throat is very sore, you can just pour some of that into your mouth and it will burn your throat, but it really helps. Most of the time, by the next day, I feel better. The times when I was sicker, I had to do it for a day or two, um, but it's so full mm -hmm. of antioxid um, antioxidants. So it's one of my go-to things when we have flu. And okay. um, even my children, you can even put it in a capsule and let them swallow it just to get mm -hmm. it in if they're sick, if they don't like the taste. But it's very good for a sore throat. Yeah. <laughs> and it's something that you can drink daily for a, for a multivitamin type oil? Yes. Like you I think she says you start with six drops and then you build it up. Um, let me quickly see. They call it sativa seed oil. In Nigella, cold press Nigella sativa seed oil. That's what it is. It's high in omega-6 and 9. Take oh, half great. a teaspoon daily and gradually increase to a teaspoon daily. But like I said, I'm not good at you know, doing things every day <laughs> so even if you use it just when you're sick i think the benefits are just amazing mm -hmm. yeah. 
Awesome. Thanks, Steph. I think the very last question that I just have is um, there's a lot of skepticism around oils and the use of oils. And um, on the on the one side and on the other side, it's also about what you do with the oils um, the prophetic meaning. You touched on it a bit earlier, but the prophetic meaning of the oils and the prayer that goes with the oils for that healing properties really to work with the spirit. So just your take on these two opposite ends. Um, mm -hmm. What's your view on this? Yeah, I think I've really grown and mature in the, in the sense of learning that um, we are so afraid of the enemy and what the enemy uses. But something mm -hmm. that Abba really taught me is that we have to remember that the enemy is a fake. <laughs> mm. And he, he takes what Abba gave us and he wants to mm. misuse it. Um, he doesn't do anything original. He's not interested in things um, that doesn't have meaning to Abba. So mm. if you see something in the occult, usually there will be a counterpart for that that's life-giving. So like anything in the world, you can use something for good or bad. And mm. I mean, just think logical about that. Abba created plants. He gave us plants for medicine. He says even in the thousand years of peace, the the leaves of the tree will be um, medicine for the for the nations. So I really do believe that it's a gift from Abba. Uh, and the word says a wise man as well in his house. And I mean, I don't think it's speaking about canola oil or all of that. <laughs> it's super, super bad for you to use anyway. Um, and Abba says it in his word, a, a, a tree cannot have bear good food, fruit and bad fruit. So mm. I think Abba is so gracious that even those who use it in the wrong way, that it on some level it benefits their health anyway. Because mm. the, 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 the well itself is not bad. It's the one who uses it and misuses it can use it for the wrong reasons. Yeah. So, um, you yeah, know, I don't think... Um, this, I don't personally think there's anything wrong with using essential oils, but I do think is that for me it's important one to to buy oils that I know who um, what's the covering over them. So I don't want to bad mm -hmm. worldly companies, but some of those are new age um, that also use oil for witchcraft and other things. Um, and very new age things. So I don't want to use those oils because I, I do believe the covering that uh, business has has an effect on the products. So I like mm. to support um, um, fellow believers. I know mm. them, I trust them, I know they know their products. Um, I know they source them very, um, what is the right word? Verantwoordelijk. Um, Responsibly. Yeah, they source it responsibly, and they do have good quality oils. A lot of people mm. think that ancient biblical oils or even licious oils are not on the same level as Young Living and Deterra. That's not true. I mean, most of ancient biblical oils, if you go look on the front, most of them are wild-crafted trees. In other words, it's trees that, that's growing in the wild. Those are the best plants to use because plants that live in the wild, that go through hardship, drought, wind, yeah. Um, they are more potent when you make well of them. So mm -hmm. very good and high quality well. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, I hope Steve. That yes, that's question. yes, no, absolutely it does. And I think it's also important for us to just pray for discernment from Abba when we buy these oils and where to buy them. But what's so wonderful about Atava is that it's a one-stop shop or a platform where you can know that the products that are um, advertised on, on, on the shop or on the storefront is products that you can trust and where the origin is really um, kingdom orientate, orientated, like you mentioned earlier. Yes, definitely. And um, there was something else now I wanted to mention. Now I can't remember. Oh, oh, just quickly. The, the thing about essential oils is that's where our... Um, fragrance comes from mm -hmm. so i just want to warn you we can speak about this on another day and go into detail about why is fragrance is so bad for you that's not mm -hmm. from essential oil so the fragrances you get in perfume the fragrances you get in toilet sprays the fragrances you get in candles um mm -hmm. it's super super bad for you it's hormone disruptors i don't buy anything anymore i really try to discern and i look at the ingredients if it has a fragrance on don't buy.
identify it. Obviously, if it has a fragrance in that's not in nature, then it's a fragrance. If you buy a bubblegum soap, it's going to be a <laughs> fragrance because you don't yeah. get a bubblegum essential oil. So um, yeah, essential oils is, is our fragrance. It's our smell. Um, don't use stuff with fragrances in it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, there's a lot of pro tips. I think it's important for these sessions to have a quick notebook with you just to jot all these um, things down. But I don't know if we if we want to ask anyone that's listening if they have a question, Steve. Um, I'm just not sure how they can ask questions. I, I haven't think if tested you, that. I, I think if you unmute yourself, you are able to, to ask a question. Okay. So from the listeners, is there anyone that has a question for Steph on essential oils? I see a lot of um, famous or friends here on. <laughs> famous on friends. <laughs> famous friends. My famous friends are here. <laughs> I don't see anybody, but yeah. Doesn't look like it, no, Steph. Yeah, thanks so, so much. That, that for the day. It went on a bit longer than I thought, but it was, I think it was, yeah, informative. <laughs> Very informative. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for joining, Lucia, and just, yeah, talking to me through the wells. Um, I'm so excited. I think the next one that we will do will be about mm -hmm. the products that we use for the children. What oils do I use for children? What do I use it for? And other products that mm -hmm. we sell. I think that's a good go-to for um, for moms. Um, yeah. So if you want to join us next, it will be next week. Next week, Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes. Okay. Yes. We're yes, we'll have a blessed day. This is in the end. <laughs> Shalom. Thanks, Steve. Bye. Bye.